Hey guys, today I am giving you the most holiday look, simple look, natural look, glam look ever with Ofra products. I am so excited that I have partnered with them in this video, showing you guys some of their newest holiday kits now. I'm gonna go through some of my favorite ones that they have. Now for the holidays, I'm so excited. You guys know I love Ofra and you guys know this is like my look. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to make a tutorial for you guys that was easy to do for an everyday party, everyday look for work. You just wanna look cute and glam for the holidays, you know? So I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of the products that I used on my face today that were like the MVP of the show, you know what I'm saying? Here we have the Ofra palette. This is their new mixed palette, which includes eyeshadows, highlighter, and two blushes that you guys will see me use all over my face today and then here we have some more holiday kits the luxe holiday set symphony holiday set which includes a eyeshadow palette they're both different colors it includes a lip gloss and a matte liquid lip which they have one of my favorite formulas for matte lipsticks so you can choose to be the bronzy girl or the more colorful mauvey girl we have the fresh start mini set it includes a blush and it includes two long lasting liquid lipsticks that you can use for the holidays now we have the glow through it set, I love the names. It includes a nude gloss and the best highlighter ever, which is included in the palette that I used today. Rodeo Drive, which is like the best seller. And here we have the flex kit that I used today on my lips. I'm gonna be showing you guys swatches of all of them. These are just so nice, so great, so pigmented. I just love me some good makeup, girl. I will be showing you guys how I created this really easy look in my eyes, my lips, my face. And of course, I will have everything linked down below in the description for you guys, along with a discount code from Ofra, but enough of that. If you guys wanna see how I created this holiday looks also with three lip options for you guys, then please keep on watching. All right guys, so have you nice and closed up. Let's go ahead and get this holiday eye look going so i'm gonna be taking their holiday palette their newest mixed palette this is her i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without me taking off the packaging <gasps> look at how pretty it looks i love that it has a combination of neutrals that you can wear every day it has a highlighter it has two blush shades so it's very ideal for an everyday palette if you're looking for one for the holidays i also like the burgundy red i think it's so pretty as of so let's go ahead and get started and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna focus this color only on the outer corner of the eye and bringing it only halfway towards the inner corner making sure we have a nice blend at the end we are going to clean it up with a wipe but you want to still make sure it's a nice effortless blend i like to also pat the eyeshadow in the outer corner to get the color that i want in the intensity and then i'll start buffing away in small circles Really nice, soft, neutral. And then just work little by little. So start again by packing on the color where you want it for placement. And then slowly in small circles, start buffing that into the crease. And make sure you don't go over the crease so it doesn't touch the brow bone. And only bring it about halfway in. Up next, I'm gonna go with the shade Divine. It is a really pretty, it is a very pretty frosted shade as you can see right here. I'm gonna take that color onto a flat brush and I'm gonna start packing it in the inner corner, nice and gentle, and then pat it at the end for a nice blend. This looks amazing. I love me a go-to neutral bronzy gold look. And we're not even applying any setting spray or anything like that to make the shadow more metallic. It's so nice and buttery. It makes me reminisce on my Ofra collab that we did last summer. So shadows are everything. And I'm also taking that brush to create a nice crisp line in the inner corner. Just for a little bit more definition, just take your time and just trace your lid. It is the holidays, so we want a little bit more structure to the look. Not so blown out like you would for like a summer look. We want to make it nice, crisp, and pretty. This is so delicate and just so great. I love. Now take any black eyeliner and just line your eyes. I'm using a gel base first so that the eyeshadow has some kind of grip. Apply it in the outer corner and halfway through the lid. Now we're gonna take the shade Mahogany, which is a beautiful deep brown color. And with the same brush, I'm just gonna grab some more and use it to further darken the lash line. So we apply the dark eyeliner. And now we're just gonna smoke that out with the brush. 
you guys see how it just like transforms the eye it makes it more sultry it's like a little tip that i like to do with my eyeshadow so it's really my darker one make them into nice eyeliner looks we're done for the eyes for now i'm gonna apply some mascara and lashes and we'll be right back now i am back with the lashes the mascara and my base done i do have to fix the eyes a little bit anytime you get some mascara on your eyelid you can just take it in a nice spoolie and just scratch it off, literally. I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown shade and I'm going to tap that right on top of the lash glue just to make sure that we have everything nice and covered. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer. We're taking this bronzer from Ofra. It is called the Bronzer Duo in the shade River. I will have everything that I use linked down below for you guys. Giving ourselves a nice warm glow for the holidays. So after applying my bronzer, I like to bake underneath my cheekbones. That way it just cleans up the area a little bit more and it gives me a guide as to where I'm going to be applying the blush, the highlights, and everything just looks more like cohesive and just nicely put. And then you can add more blush if needed. I'm going to add a little bit here to my nose. For one of my favorite parts of applying my makeup, I love blush so much. What I'm actually going to do is mix both of these blushes together to create a nice pretty blush look for the holidays as well. I'm going to be taking the shades Rose and Winter Glow Rose. I'm going to be taking the shades Rose and Winter Rose Glow. These two I've actually tried before and I love them so much. So Rose is more of a matte and Rose Glow obviously has a little bit of shimmer and glow and I'm all about that. So I like to apply my blush on top of my bronzer and back towards my temple. It just gives me more of a lifted look. And then I always like to apply some blush on top of my nose, around it. Now I'm going to take a brush and just buff away. Loose powder, as you can see, gives us a nice line. Everything is super clean, super polished. Before applying my highlighter, I always like to go in with my setting spray just to make sure I met all the powders together and the highlight can glow its best potential. Now it's time for the glow, one of my favorite parts also about doing my makeup. I just love doing my makeup, period, but something about a glow, something about Rodeo Drive. It is one of Ofra top sellers as well. You guys are not ready to see this glow. If you haven't got this glow, you need to get this glow. Look at that. It's that not the most perfect highlight you've ever seen. I love it because you can also like apply more or less make it super shiny, glowy, dewy, booming, whatever your preference is. But I just live for a good highlighter. And I love this highlighter specifically because you can wear it with literally any look. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlighter and apply it to the inner corner. And of course, we cannot forget the brow bone. I'm gonna keep the eyes nude at the bottom because I really have been liking that feel. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara just to define the lashes, but no extra eyeshadow. And of course, we cannot finish the look without some lip products. So these are the Flexi Lip Set. These are amazing. It's like a glossy, creamy, goodness, like lip product that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna actually swatch and wear all three colors so you guys can see how many options we have and how great they look. First, I'm gonna go in with the color Velvet. It is a nice purple color. I went ahead and lined my lips with a purple lip liner so that we have something to outline the lips with. And now we're gonna go in and apply the Flexi Slick Gloss. This is so fun. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever liked a purple lipstick more than this one. I also like how applying the liner gave it more like a ombre effect. These are so comfortable to wear, so long lasting. Let me put my hair down so you guys can get the whole vibe, the whole look, the whole feel. This is so much fun. I haven't seen myself in a bowl lit like this in a minute and I am here for it. I absolutely love this color. Up next, I am taking a nude lip liner so we can try out the nude flexi gloss. I like that they have like a variety of really fun color, a red for the holidays, and also a nude. This is in the shade Smooth. I am so excited to try this out. I am living. I love it because it is a pinky nude and I am so picky with my nudes, but this one, it's so pretty. It is such an everyday color. You guys know this lip color is me and literally everybody. It is just such a dope formula. I just love how it feels on the lips and it's not sticky at all. And now last but not least, the star of the show, the Red Flexi Slick, the product in the shade Spark. And of course, I'm gonna go in now and let my lips really quickly. You guys, there's nothing more iconic than a red 
lip product okay this red color looks pretty universal i like that it has a little bit of orange in it so it's not completely red i feel like it'll complement every skin tone so nice i like how the flexi slick just goes on so nice and even it's not patchy like liquid lipstick sometimes lipsticks you have to go over it and like touch up but i feel that with one or two swipes across the lips it gives you the fullest color to its maximum like potential and i'm just so here for it if this red color doesn't make you feel excited for the holidays i honestly don't know what would period this is the final result of the look i hope that you guys loved it i hope that you find it really easy to do and recreate if you do please tag me i would love to see you guys get inspired by my looks and recreate them and look beautiful as ever i will have all the products that i use and merch listed down below along with your links and discount code from ofra i think these are just great gifts now for the holidays i will probably be gifting these to some of my friends and families putting them in their stocking stuffers so with all that being said this is all for today Yeah, abrazos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.